Hi, and welcome to Stocks with Nick. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Street Smart Edge trading platform by Charles Schwab. And it's a platform that I've used for the past almost year now. But we're just going to be taking a look at uh, charts, orders, and then if I have time, I might take a look at uh, stock screeners and how to use that. So I'm just going to go sort of in depth, but this is a kind of a beginner video. And I'm planning on doing a part two with some more sophisticated features after. And then also, if you have any questions about the platform, uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer your questions. And then at the end of this video, if you end up liking it, please leave a like and maybe subscribe if you're enjoying this content. So let's begin. Okay, so now we're actually in the platform. I signed in using the demo login. So there's a little box. And so I'd recommend if you're new to it, see the demo up here. If you're new to this platform, I'd recommend uh, logging in with the demo before logging in live because, you know, it just lets you test it out without by accidentally doing anything stupid like buying stock by accident. So right now I have a setup going, so I'm just going to leave this in the background. But really what you're going to need, hold on, let me move my, my face over because it's in the way. Uh, that's better. So what you'll see is up here, it says launch tools. So this is where all of your stuff is. So you've got account details, all in one trade tool, just all this stuff. Um, so I'm just going to start out with charts because that's a pretty basic thing that you'll be using uh, to start out. And then I'll talk about the trade tool. So you're just going to click on chart. And so as you'll see, I'll just, ex I'll, I'll make this full screen. It's just a chart of whatever stock I have Bank of America open. Um, so there's actually a lot of stuff you can play with with this specific chart. So here's the menu. You can expand by clicking on this. So right now I have a solid candlestick chart. And so you've got all of the options for what kind of chart you're going to be using right here. So let's say I want a line chart. Click on it. Bam. Line chart. Um, so I'll just... I'll switch to hollow candlesticks and then right here you can choose the type of candlesticks so right now these are daily candlesticks but say you're a day trader you want five minute candlesticks like this it's gonna take a second to load a bang five minute candlesticks it's pretty pretty easy um, and then we'll get into I don't know, we'll get into some studies now if you're trying to use, I don't know, RSI, uh, VWAP, all kinds of studies. So let's look at view all studies just so you can see. You've got intraday, market strength, momentum, trend, volatility, and volume. So let's just say you want well, just a simple moving average. So it's going to be a little color chart right here. You can decide what color you want it to be. Choose what the line looks like where you want it to be shown. So let's say you want it in the price chart. So this is the price chart that's already pulled up right now. And you can choose a period, how many bars it's going to be taking the average from. And then a shift, if you want to use a shift, but I don't know if that's up to you. Hit OK. And right there, you have your simple moving average right on the screen. And so next, if you want to open up something that has a different window, because I think this is kind of important to know about the different windows. Um, there are studies that end up in a different window. So let's say RSI is in. So right here we have relative strength indexed RSI. And so it says show in new pain. So you say, OK, and right here you've got your new pain with RSI in it. And also, if you want to put your moving average in a different pane, you can have it show up down there. And then, see, you can change how much is shown for each thing. If you want to have a ton of panes, you can have a ton of panes. But that's all you're really going to need for your studies. And then, you also have the draw tool. This doesn't do much, but if you're trying to add like trend lines or something just for yourself, kind of to look at something, um, if you want like a support line, it'll show up green. So say support line here, support line, resistance line, 
just this line here. So that's just how you're gonna use that. You just click, and when you want to get rid of it, you just left click and hit or right click, sorry, and hit remove. And then just settings, you can add pre-market and post-market hours, which is something that's pretty helpful if you're uh, looking at trading right as after the bell. You can look at pre-market trading to see what what the market's looking like. Um, then you can also show current day. You can show all this stuff. It's pretty easy to check out. Price lines, timelines, last trade label, custom view, notes, and also orders will show up. All this stuff just will show up on this chart and you can kind of play around with this as you see fit. Now we're going to go back into our, not actually, goes into launch tools and we're going to be looking at the all-in-one trade tool. So we'll make that full screen. And so usually it's a little bit smaller on your screen, but it's, it's pretty simple. You just have buy, sell, um, short, which I don't have shorting on this account. Um, so what you're going to do is if you want to buy something, you'll just click buy or sell. See, pretty simple like that quantity, however many shares you want. And then venue is smart. So this is for, you put smart when you're actually in like the actual mar open market hour, you have pre-market after hours. So you're going to have to do that when you're, um, trading pre-market and after hours, then you, you have order types. You have limit market, stop, stop limit and trailing stop. Limit price, so that's just the price set. Timing is good tail canceled, filler kill, not sure what that one is, and good for the rest of the day. Special conditions, um, that's not really important. Then right here, market depth, you have all the options changed uh, for the stock down here, if you're an options trader. Um, trade probability calculator is for, that's for options also but it's pretty simple. You're just going to be clicking buy, sell or whatever. And you know, it's, it's a pretty user friendly situation when it comes to Schwab. And now if you sort of know what that is, you can just kind of see what my setup is so far. Usually I have my second monitor up, but right now it's recording, but I've got RSI volume down here in my second pane. And then I have exponential moving average on my candlestick chart. So all my settings are right here. And you can see all that right there. I'll put that away. And you can see here is my, move my face out of the way. I'll put it over here for a second. Right here, you can see um, my order box. So this is where, if I wanna buy or sell stock, this is what I'll, I'll put it into, it's right there. So now I'm actually going to be taking a look at just positions. So you're going to go to launch tools again, um, and it's going to be under uh, account details. Make this full screen. Of course, right here, there's no order status because I'll move my face against in the way a little bit. There's no order status because this is not a real account it's in demo mode. But usually, when you put it in order, Something will pop up here, it'll say, like, order for whatever stock, for however many shares, at whatever price, and then it'll say, like, um, open, or filled, or, and, and it'll basically, you'll be able to tell when it gets filled right through here, and you'll get a notification every time, like, you'll get a notification when you put the order in, and then you'll get a notification when it's filled, um, so, you can really... See that there and i think you get alerts too which is that that's those notifications and i think this is just the order and then whether or not it's filled and then you'll go to balances so right here is just everything about the account right now this is of course a demo account so it says zero dollars today's change zero dollars available to trade with available to withdraw settle cash and available to trade cash balance and then it's just market value, all this stuff you can see right here. Um, go to positions, no positions because again, a demo account, but any stock you have, it has um, what the position is. Um, it has gain and loss right here. It's got this whole long line of stuff, but it, it says it's got like a kind of a key. So you can see what everything is. It'll, it'll tell you realize gain and loss and then transactions is just 
all of your bought and sold stock. You can see. So it's pretty, pretty convenient. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be, but there's a few bonus tools I think that are worth checking out. The first one, news. So right now, it's got breaking news. Basically, it just pulls up any news articles. So it just, it takes news articles off of websites and they're just all right here. So that's pretty simple. Uh, you can choose what news sources uh, you take news from. And like, if you don't like a specific news source, you can take it off the list. It won't show you anything from that, but it's really cool. It has up-to-date articles that just come out and it's actually really handy. So let me just X out of this real quick. And then I'll launch one, one last thing. It's just going to be research. And so when you do research, it'll pull up whatever company you're, you have. Also this whole link thing, basically if you have multiple tabs open, like the tabs I've had open, if you link them, then if you search up a certain symbol, say in the chart, it'll come up in the news section and in the um, research section. So it basically, it just comes up with the rating for Bank of America. So it's as outperform, um, it's a large plus cap and it has a little short, short little blurb about the company. Got all the executives, earnings, details, basic overview, you name it, it's probably here. Um, so it's pretty convenient. And then right before I, I leave and let you go on your way, I'm going to show you one thing that it's not exactly the most practical tool, but I think it's kind of funny and kind of cool. So I thought I'd throw this in here as a little bonus. It's when you go here, CNBC TV. Okay. So it's open in my other tab. One second. Okay. I think I have it. So see if I can get it up. I don't think it's live right now. Oh, that sucks because basically in that little window that pops up, it's probably, uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty small window, but basically it's just live CNBC TV. And I think it's kind of funny when you're trading, if you want something to listen in on, or if you want to check on the markets, it's not the most practical, but I think it's kind of funny to have on your screen. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, and subscribe, uh, any questions you have, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time with hopefully a part two where I'll go in depth on probably, let's see, I'll probably go over some screeners, maybe Recognia. Um, but yeah, see you next time.